So we thank God for being here tonight, Lord, too. We thank right. the Lord for being so good to us. We thank God for those of you who are tuning in tonight. We know what Jesus mm -hmm. said. You shall know the truth. Know the truth. And That's the right. truth shall make you free. That's so right. Tonight, we thank God for the truth. We thank God, God for wisdom. Right. We thank God for knowledge. Mm -hmm. We thank God for being so merciful, so kind to us. That's and right. Thank, how he, thank God for how he continued to bless us, continue to keep us, mm -hmm. even in the midst of a storm. Yeah. And I believe now that things are raging now. Mm -hmm. Amen. People, their thoughts and their imagination continue to be evil. That's right. And just like in the days of Noah, man hardly continue to evil. Evil. But I'm glad I can put my trust in the Lord. Yes. Amen. I believe right. in him. I want to trust in him. And I'm still waiting on him. Continue to do the great things in my life. Mm -hmm. That work that he's already started. The Bible says he's going to continue mm -hmm. to the day of yeah. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So tonight we're thankful that if we are here tonight. We're going to offer up a word of prayer. Because Lord. we certainly believe that prayer changes things. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you. But I believe in prayer. I believe prayer changes mm -hmm. things. Because I believe that one day somebody prayed for me, mm -hmm. took the time out just to say a little prayer for me. Mm -hmm. So I thank God for Jesus tonight. Let us offer up a word of prayer. Eternal God, our Father, we thank you tonight. We thank you for allowing us to come together one more time. We thank you for your love, your peace, your joy. We thank you for supplying all of our needs. We thank you for being a present help in the time of yes, trouble. Lord. Amen. Knowing that we can come to the throne of grace, that we might find help, Father. Help, Lord. And we know we need your help. help there are many that are requesting for prayer, Father. Yes, there are many that are going through right now, Father. Yes, yes. But they need your help, Father. Need your help. And we're praying and asking in Jesus' name. Yes. That you will bless them according to what they stand in need of. Yes, Lord. If it be Lord. thy will, O oh Lord, bless them according to what they stand in yes, need of. Lord. Let the blood of Jesus cover them this evening. Yes, Let the Lord. blood of Amen. Jesus be applied to their Life, Father. Yes, Lord. We realize that we all need your help. We yes, need the indeed. power to go through, Lord. Yes, Let indeed. somebody receive your spirit, Lord, yes. before it's everlasting too late. Yes. They may be on their bed of affliction, but they need your spirit, Lord. Yep, Lord. Don't let them die, Lord. Fill them with your spirit, Lord. Yes, oh, Lord, Lord, that one is on drug delivering, Father. Yes. That one is on alcohol, if you will, just deliver them, Lord. Yes. That son or daughter that go on the street, if you will, Lord, just deliver them, Father. Deliver. We come in this very hour pleading for somebody yep, right Lord, now Jesus. that are going through, Lord, can't see no way out. Yeah. Somebody need wisdom. Somebody need knowledge, Father. Somebody yeah, need understanding, Lord. Yeah, somebody Lord. right now on the verge of giving up. But we're praying that your strength and power will keep them standing. Yeah, Lord, we're yeah, praying yeah. that those, oh God, that are going through, Lord, but they will turn to you before yeah, it's too late. Lord, because Lord. all power is still in your hand. Oh, oh, I know if they turn to you, Father, yeah, you will know why I cast them out. Yeah, I believe Lord, in Jesus. your healing power. I yeah. believe in your delivering yeah, power. Deliver. I believe in your saving power. Yeah, I believe Lord. your word is true. Yes. I believe your word will never fail. Yes, I believe Lord. your word going to keep me standing. Yes. I believe I can stand on what you say, Father. Yes, no matter Lord. how dark it get, Father. I believe yes, I can Lord. stand on your word, Lord. Yes, Everywhere Lord. I go, I believe I can stand on your word. Yes, I believe your word going to ever stand, Lord. Yes, and let thy word continue to stand, Lord. Yes, let your Lord. word continue Amen. to go forth, Lord. Yes. And I know it's going to accomplish what it's supposed to do, Lord. Yes, you told Lord. me to Amen. put my trust in you, Lord. Amen. You told me to wait on you. You yes, told me to believe in you. And tonight I believe, Father, that you're working things out for my good, Lord. Yes, you said Lord. all Amen. things work together for good to them that love you, that are called according to your purpose. Oh, God, I thank you tonight. Thank, thank you for Lord. working things out, thank Lord. You, Lord. But Jesus. be merciful to us, Father. Yes, and continue Lord. to keep us, Lord. Yes, Have Lord. mercy if you will, Lord. Yes, now Lord. I'm praying, Lord, that your mercy go out this yes, Lord. Praying yes, that your Lord. mercy go out upon those who request a prayer for us. Yes, Bless Lord. home Amen. and family that they go through, Lord. Yes, Give them the strength Lord. that they be able to stand. Yes, and Lord. thank you for your love, your peace, your joy. Yes, and thank you for supplying all of our needs. Yes, These blessings, all other blessings, we ask in thy son, Jesus' name. Let the church say amen. amen. Yes, yes, you can feel so much better. So much better. When you have a little talk with Jesus. Yes, Lord. And I know mm -hmm. he'll work things out. Yes, he will. God will never fail. Never, never. Never mm -hmm. fail. There ain't no failure in God. Mm -hmm. So tonight we're thankful to be here one more time. We yes, certainly Lord. want to thank the Lord for allowing us to be here tonight. Mm -hmm. Thank God for how he able us to come here. We don't want to be bragging about how righteous we are. Mm -hmm. But we thank God for having mercy on us to spare us to be able to do what we do. Yes, so right. tonight we're thankful that you continue help us support those who are in need uh -huh. we're talking about need we're talking about just in case you you be your first time listening in we support the homeless and the needed people because mm -hmm. amen right. because we realize it could be one of us 
Yes. I know you don't find many people program want to talk about homeless people because That's right. most mm -hmm. people don't even think of homeless people. They don't That's think right. much of homeless people. Mm -hmm. They don't even like to speak to homeless mm -hmm. people. They don't no. even like to shake hands mm -hmm. with homeless people. Mm -hmm. They don't even like to stand beside homeless people. That's right. But let me tell you, there are people too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Amen. Look where he brought you from. Mm -hmm. Amen. You wasn't you wasn't all that, but now you got a little money. It's mm -hmm. hard to That's get right. you to see how you used to be. Mm -hmm. But we got to be thankful that God is still Lord. working on us mm -hmm. and doing some things in our life. That's so right. actually let us continue to support those who mm -hmm. are less fortunate than we are. And That's that we right. still asking those of you who can help us with our water dry, mm -hmm. help us with the sardine and the vitamin sausage. Because you don't like them, but we we found out they love them. So mm -hmm. continue right. to do what you can while you have a chance. That's so right. this time we're gonna put it in the hand of our pastor, Bishop Irvin Bryant. Man, well, we thank the Lord. Well, we're gonna have some words here from Elder Cook. Well, all right, thank the Lord for being here tonight. We, man, we certainly thank the Lord for another Wednesday night Bible study. And thank God for His goodness and His mercy. Mm -hmm. Man, the Lord's Lord. been good to us and. And we're back again tonight to look into God's Word. Oh, yes. Man, we're not going to tarry long in the light of time. Man, we encourage you to get your Bible. Mm -hmm. Man, for one thing about it, man, all of us will be living according to God's Word. That's right. Mm -hmm. Man, so the service at this time in the hand of our pastor, man, Bishop Irvin Bryan. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we thank the Lord. Mm -hmm. <coughs> certainly appreciate the words coming from Elder Rendon and Elder Cook. We Certainly appreciate all that's gathered out tonight and those that are tuned into this program tonight. We do thank God for you all. We thank God for the questions that we have to respond to tonight. We certainly appreciate those that are supporting this ministry. Thank God, amen. We thank God for those that are helping to look out for the homeless and for the needy. We certainly appreciate that. As Ella say, you don't have many programs now going to be talking about the needy. God, amen. And about the homeless. God, amen. They talk about abused dogs yes. cooking they will talk mm -hmm. about thank God the needy of people mm -hmm. thank God amen but then the Bible didn't tell us about the dogs that told us thank God when I was in hunger thank God amen you didn't feed me that's right naked you didn't clothe me that's thank right God, amen he didn't say nothing about it no. when I was a dog thank God amen you chained me up to a tree or something like that thank you know? God amen I, I didn't put me in a kennel or, or something like that you know so but but we'll go after that more so than we go after what mm -hmm. what to do for people Thank God. We thank God for churches that will go out and look after the needy. Thank oh, God. Yeah. And support the needy. Thank God. And give them some of what they need. Thank God. And so That's we right. do the best that we can. Thank God in helping out. With, so we appreciate those that help us to help those people out there. Look after those people. They need a voice. They have to have a voice. Thank That's right. The only way you have a voice now is you got some money. Or, thank God. Amen. You got some political office or something like that. You might have people listen to you. But thank God when you out down and out there like that, they don't listen to you. That's right. They don't even want to hear what you got to say. And I always come with that stuff, but I pull myself up from my own bootstrap. Well, I didn't wear no boots, so I didn't have no strap to pull up. That's <laughs> God, right. But the Lord That's have right. blessed us that That's right. That we've come this far, thank God. And where we are now, the Lord has blessed us to do that. That's thank right. God. And so we should never forget, though, where we come from, thank God, and how, where we were. Thank God. Sometimes we come from out of the project and then we get up there and we move to New York or somewhere and act like we never didn't know what a project was. Thank mm -hmm. God, and you know what it was. That's yes, right. Your life you were there. Mm -hmm. But we thank God for Jesus. Yeah. How the Lord has blessed us. Thank God, amen. And what we doing now, looking after the needy. Amen, doing what we can for the needy. All right, we just thank the Lord for all things. And right here we have some questions. We want to get into those questions. And God, let's see what we have here. Okay, this one is... Um all right, it says, uh, greetings, Bishop Brian, Ella Cook, and Ella Render. I would greatly appreciate it if you all can briefly expound on the following two topics. According to scripture, 1 Thessalonians 4, 13 through 19. I know those, I, I know those that who are still here on earth who belong to Christ will be caught the world labels as the rapture caught in the cloud with the believers who were dead and will rise first however will believers be here during the great tribulation as mentioned in Matthew 24 and Daniel 9 
if I'm not mistaken. Some pastors teach that the Lord will get his people first prior to the seven year great tribulation period. Is this true according to scripture? And lastly, do the seven seals as mentioned in Revelation chapter six and, and eight refer to each year of the tribulation? Thank you for thank you from your brother. You give his name in Chicago. Mm -hmm. All right, and I guess in what they're looking at, I guess here when they go back to uh, that Thessalonians, you read that Thessalonians four mm -hmm. thirty. We're just going to respond somewhat on it, but a lot of this needs a whole yeah. lot of lot. looking into when you start mm -hmm. talking about, you know, whether we're going to be here with the, you know, with the, with the tribulation period coming. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that. So we're going to look more into that, but briefly we're going to look at what he's talking about here with Thessalonians. And we don't want to read anything into scriptures, so because sometimes we read something and we start reading into mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. And so well, that's why we always say read the scriptures and see what the scriptures say. Right. And we don't want to add and we don't want to take that's away. Right. All right, now, and we, we'll go to that, what it says in 13. Yeah. First or, Thessalonians 4, 13. chapter 4 and verse 13. Mm -hmm. But I would not have you ignorant brethren. Mm -hmm. Concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. Mm -hmm. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we, we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. Mm -hmm. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of, an arch of the archangel, and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we, which are alive and remain, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore comfort one another with these words. So now, I, I, mean, I don't know exactly what he is saying in that, but according to the scripture, the ones that are in Christ that died, mm -hmm. and we that are here, we're not going to prevent them that are asleep, because they're going to get up out of the grave. Mm -hmm. We're we still here. Mm -hmm. They're going to get up out of the grave, and they're going to be caught up together to meet the Lord in the air. And I know he says something almost about the rapture. Now, if you look at it, all rapture means is to be caught up. You know, that's what they're talking about, the catching up. Now, some I want to know about this, elders, is whether or not this is going to be before the tribulation period. You know, so the saints will be out of the, out of here during the tribulation period. Now, according when we go to the, that, even that Matthew. Now, let's look at that Matthew because now, if we're going to be caught up to meet the Lord, and then we're going to forever be with the Lord. Now, it's got to be a judgment. Mm -hmm. oh, and yeah. Paul said we all mm -hmm. right, must stand, stand before, before the judgment seat of Christ. Christ. Right. So that's why you can't be trying to read nothing into it like we're mm -hmm. going to be gone mm -hmm. when it happens. Now, if you go to Matthew, we're going to Matthew 24. So that's why I say it takes a lot of looking into so you won't be trying to read nothing into anything, mm -hmm. you know. And sometimes it takes more than just a week you're looking at something. You can start getting something that deep in the revelation and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You oh, definitely yeah. need to be looking into it. It takes some right. time right. praying and let the Lord reveal there things you to you, see. Because I'm not going to be like no false prophet. Well, I'm going to tell you something now about this rapture here now. Mm -hmm. about the, you're not going to find in the Bible. I, we don't do that stuff. No. No. <laughs> we're not going to do that at all. Whatever we find, we're gonna, we want to read mm -hmm. it in the Bible. See what That's it says right. in the Bible. Now, we, now, let's just go to that Matthew 24. He just said 24. Mm -hmm. But we, if we start maybe around 19 or something like that. Let's see. All right. And woe unto them that are with child, mm -hmm. and to them that give suck in those days. Well, we, we, we can go uh, probably a little bit further yes. up there. You mm -hmm. know, when it's talk about the destination spoken by Daniel, the prophet, mm -hmm. let's, let's just get a little further up on that. Well, let's, mm -hmm. if we can start, if we can start at verse 13. Okay, all right. But he that shall endure unto the end mm -hmm. shall be saved. Read. The same shall be saved. Mm -hmm. This gospel of the kingdom shall be preached mm -hmm. in all the world for a witness unto all nations, mm -hmm. and then shall the end come. Mm -hmm. When ye shall... Therefore, when ye shall, when ye therefore shall 
see the abomination of desolation mm -hmm. spoken of by Daniel the prophet mm -hmm. stand in the holy place. Mm -hmm. Whoso readeth, let him understand. Read. Mm -hmm. Then let them which be in Judea flee to the, unto the mountain. Read. Let him which is on the housetop mm -hmm. not come down to take anything out of his house. Read. Mm -hmm. Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. You read. And woe to them that are with child and mm -hmm. to them that give suck in those days. Read. Mm -hmm. But I pray mm -hmm. that I pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, mm -hmm. neither on the Sabbath day. Now, let's tell you about what a time that's going to be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What does it say now? For then shall be great tribulation. You see that? There shall be great tribulation. Mm -hmm. Such as was not since the beginning of the world. See that? There's mm -hmm. going to be so much trouble that not going to be since at the beginning of the world. To mm -hmm. this time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, nor ever shall be. See that? No, ever shall be. Now listen what it says here now. And I know sometimes people took this to say that he was going to shorten the days for the world for us being here. But now listen what it says now. It and except it, those it days. See that? Except what mm -hmm. days? Now the great tribulation right. days. Those mm -hmm. days that which had never been since the world right. began. Mm -hmm. Telling us now how, how, how terrible that's going to be right. in that time. But except now what it says. And except those days should those be Those days. Right. See? Those days. Come on. There should mm -hmm. no flesh be saved. It says, be not shot no day, there'll be no flesh saved. Mm -hmm. But listen what it says. But for the elect's sake. For mm -hmm. the elect's sake. Those days shall be short. Shall be. Mm -hmm. Those days that shall be. Mm -hmm. So now, we can't take that and try to read into it and say, well, he's going to take the, the saints out, out in a little bit of time mm -hmm. before it gets really terrible. Mm -hmm. And we can't take that and read it and say, well, when he shorten the days by just taking the saints out of it. Right. Mm -hmm. See? So all these kind of things come into play. People are now trying to look into that, mm -hmm. see, and, and, and say what that is saying and what it's saying. I'm going to say just what it says. Mm -hmm. And That's then it. we're going to look at some, yeah. some of the other. He's going right. to shorten the days. And for the elect, who is the elect? His chosen. Mm -hmm. That's right. His people, thank mm -hmm. God, that he had already shortened those days. Mm -hmm. My thing to those that are out and to myself as well, Make sure we got the Holy Ghost. There you go. Make sure that we are saved. Mm -hmm. And if I'm that way, God's certainly going to look out for his children. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. huh? He's going he's to take care of his children. Mm -hmm. And that's why I want to be one of his. Mm -hmm. And if I be one of his, thank God, he can take me through whatever come upon the earth. Because Amen. I'm one of his. Right. Mm -hmm. See, and, and, and he's going to fight for me and he's going to give me the strength. Mm -hmm. to endure right. mm -hmm. but I got to make sure I have his spirit mm -hmm. that's why he given us messages this day and time and now examine yourself see where you are mm -hmm. whether you are in the Maybe faith pray. or not see and that's the thing that we got to strive on sometimes we're looking at so much of what's going to happen but we need to look at what going to get us out of what's going to happen mm -hmm. right. see right. and put our place put ourselves in the place of being where we can be where God can see us and get us through see so we we uh, we got a question later on in here about people even receiving the Holy Ghost. Right. Your mind is too much on other things now and focus mm -hmm. on getting what it takes, thank God, for you to be able to survive. Mm -hmm. For you to be able to go through. Yeah. See? It don't come to mind with me sometime about what this gonna be. All I want to do is have what it That's takes all. Right. for mm -hmm. me to get through. Mm -hmm. And if I got that, I believe I'm gonna mm -hmm. get through. Right. Right. I believe I'm gonna make it. Mm -hmm. yeah. I believe I, if the Lord have me here when he should come. Mm -hmm. Well, his spirit, thank God, that he given me, thank God, that is supposed to be something to help me to overcome. Yes. The Bible says, who is he that overcometh the world? Yes. But he that believeth mm -hmm. that Jesus Christ is mm -hmm. the Son of God. Mm -hmm. The Son of God. Get what it takes, folks. Get what it takes. But we will go further into this. We will dig deeper in, in, into this. Mm -hmm. But this is what it's telling us. Because when you get on down, he began to talk about the tribulation, you know, immediately after the tribulation mm -hmm. period. After all, the, the 19th verse, 29, I mean the 20th, 20, the 29th verse. Now listen to what he says. Mm -hmm. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, mm -hmm. shall the sun be darkened. Shall the sun be darkened. And the moon shall not give her light. And the moon shall not give her light. And mm -hmm. the stars shall fall from heaven. Mm -hmm. And the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Mm -hmm. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. Huh? And then shall appear the sign. 
mm -hmm. of the Son of Man so, in heaven. So, so, so you got to look at that and read and not try to read things into it because mm -hmm. now right. if, if he's coming then, then when the dead in rise, Christ shall rise first, there's going to be a stuck second and a third time for him to come. Mm -hmm. See, okay. you're bringing him a third, three and four times. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. But now Hebrews said, thank God there's a point on that man, what? Once, Once to die. die. And after that, the judge, yeah. man. And she, what, how, how many times did Christ shall appear, what? The second time. The second time. Uh, without sin. Unto salvation. Mm -hmm. right. So you got to watch what you're trying to read into something, see? And then there's got to be a judgment. They're going to come and all of us got to stand before. Oh, yeah. See? And there's going to be a judgment. But mm -hmm. we, can, we can go further than that, but so sometimes things take looking into the Lord revealing things to you and, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and showing you things. We just don't jump up on things and just, just want to give people answers. No, you know, no. and then people be, be misleading the people. Right. You know, then you got to come back and say, "Well, I don't quite see that now. I don't think the way it was. I saw something else here." Mm -hmm. So, but we would deal. We 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 would deal mm -hmm. more in depth with it at the time that mm -hmm. we look into this thing more. Yeah. But uh, it, it, do, it does say that, thank mm -hmm. God, amen, that the dead in Christ going to rise first, and then we which are alive and remain, you know, shall not prevent them from sleep. Mm -hmm. We talk about us being caught up and meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Mm -hmm. See, now we know, we know this too. Also now, it says this right here as well now. It says to be absent from the body. Be present with the Lord. For ways you can be. <laughs> there with the Lord. So we have to consider all this and look into all of that. But, you know, that's my take on it for right now. But we will look a little further into that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I can just say amen to what you're saying because mm -hmm. to me it make it easy for me to follow you mm -hmm. if you follow the scripture. That's, the scripture. that's right. Mm -hmm. Now I can go back to the same scripture you started at mm -hmm. and just say what Paul said. That's right, yeah. He was teaching that he don't he didn't want you to be ignorant mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. concerning mm -hmm. them asleep. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. He wants you to know that there mm -hmm. was hope for these There's people hope. that mm -hmm. die mm -hmm. that in the Lord. Mm -hmm. And those mm -hmm. that don't have the hope, he didn't want you to worry about them. They didn't right. want you to right. worry about them. So mm -hmm. we're not here to add mm -hmm. and try to put that into a great tribulation fall mm -hmm. to a rapture. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know about y'all, but I saw the mm -hmm. movie, mm -hmm. The Rapture, before I even got what I call in the church. Oh, yeah. See, this is how I met people get all messed up. Yeah. And see, in the movie, I saw where well, all the good people left. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing left but the bad people. But mm -hmm. I can't read that in the Word. Yeah, I can't read I that. enjoyed the movie. In fact, mm -hmm. it scared me. <laughs> but then when you look at the movie, mm -hmm. the movie caused people to error. Oh, yeah. I watched Moses. All that stuff didn't happen in what you seen in the movie. No. So <laughs> here we are tonight. Like the one, the writer who, the writer, the, the one who touching this, mm. he 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 saying too that what other men have said, the other men have and said. here we are trying to mm -hmm. clear up some stuff mm -hmm. the right way, mm -hmm. and people gonna have a problem with it because what other people are saying mm -hmm. rather than staying with what the scripture says. But scripture. like he said, it's a lot deeper than what you oh, yes, want to deal with, like mm -hmm. in the little time span that we got. That's yes, right. You mm -hmm. just can't. Go there and read mm -hmm. the thirteen. The thirteen, what he read, and mm -hmm. then go down and mm -hmm. and look at the subject. What he's talking about? He's talking about death. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna try to tie Matthews into mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Well, now you're gonna be getting into a whole nother area by the end of time. So mm -hmm. yes, it takes a lot, mm -hmm. to, a lot of time to do that. Yeah. And then want Daniel, right? And you want Daniel. And perhaps you then you have to go to Revelation, yeah, and all mm -hmm. and all that, you know. So so it takes more than. You just need to make more than one the Bible study yeah. to even mm -hmm. to do that, right? If you, if you really want to. But but let me say this though, mm -hmm. Bishop, that that mm -hmm. the most important thing what, what you put out there, do you have the oh, spirit? Because the spirit <laughs> gonna take you through whatever go on. Right. Yeah. I mean, when Noah built the ark, it was for folks to protect them. Everybody got in the ark was saved. That's right. So everybody get the Holy Ghost. They ain't got to worry about these things. Get the Holy Ghost. Get it. Get it. It's simple. God get said. the Holy Ghost. Get it. And don't don't be, don't be watching what everybody will tell you or born according to what you heard them say, how they got it. How did you get it? Yes. How do you know you got it? Mm -hmm. Because you the one got to die with what you believe. What you believe. That's right. So mm -hmm. whatever comes, I don't, I don't care if you say the mark going to be, do you have the Holy Ghost? That's right. Mm -hmm. That's going to be the bottom line. That's, That's right. It. The bottom line, do you have it? That's right. Because if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he's none of his. He's none of his. Right. But they didn't get the key word on that. 
He said the dead in Christ. In mm -hmm. Christ. Mm -hmm. See what that spirit going to do for you? Mm -hmm. Shall rise mm -hmm. first. First. See? And the same spirit that quickened Christ's mortal body and raised him from the dead shall also quicken mm -hmm. what? Yeah. Your mortal body and raise you from the dead. Mm -hmm. From the dead. So get that spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Get that get spirit. spirit. <laughs> Yes, uh, I, I, don't, I don't have no amen to that. Um, they, he did say on here, mm -hmm. lastly, mm -hmm. um, it says, do the seven seals as mentioned in Revelation chapter 6 and 8 refer to each year of the tribulation? Mm -hmm. And see, that's what I'm saying. See, yeah. and see, take you in all that. Yeah. See, all this you got to, all this you got to go, go into, you know. Mm -hmm. you, want, you, you want to look at this, it says, well, this, this, all the seals are open. What did the seals represent? You Wait, got some people month, say some of month. that has already been done. That's what he said. Mm -hmm. right. See, you see, you can right. see, you got all of that. Right. See, and go, I mean, we start answering. Someone can say, "Well, somebody said it's somebody, been right. done." See, so that's what we, right. it's, it. It takes more than just sessions like this for us yeah. to be able to to yeah. deal with that in the proper manner. And, and you know what should be. Now, what you what what you're saying is right. What what people really got to focus on now is mm. you really got to make sure you got the Holy Ghost now. Mm. Because mm. let me tell you something. It, no matter how in it is play out, mm -hmm. without the Spirit of God, it ain't going to help you none anyway. Mm -hmm. See, you'll have to have the Spirit of God to be able to survive any of this. Mm -hmm. Because, as we were saying earlier, the Scripture don't change. It don't, don't change. It mm -hmm. don't change. So, if a man got a Holy Ghost, no matter how in it is play out, mm -hmm. he in the safety zone. Mm -hmm. Yes, he is. See. And that's that because you've been sealed. Mm -hmm. See, mm -hmm. you've been sealed to the day of redemption. See mm -hmm. that? See, the body of Christ, and I think we, and that's another thing mm -hmm. I'm sure we get into, we really get into this subject. Mm -hmm. It's more to the body of Christ than what we think it is. See, it is. Being mm -hmm. in the body of Christ now, mm -hmm. and having the Holy Ghost more than what people think it is. Mm -hmm. I was telling mm -hmm. somebody just today, they were telling me about a little situation with somebody getting ready to mm -hmm. get, be a preacher. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the person like, like a lot of mm -hmm. different things be going on, and I was telling them, I said, "Well, let me tell you something. It's way more than that, though. Mm -hmm. You, you, let me tell you. When you start talking about being saved and being in the church, you, you gotta be ready to suffer. Mm -hmm. See, and if you can't go through nothing, you ain't gonna make it. You ain't no, gonna make God no suffer. You got to be ready to suffer and go through some things. And it's gonna, and, and this thing talking like it's gonna be a, a trouble time. It ain't never been before since the world again. Never will be. <laughs> see, mm -hmm. and I see one time. Somebody asked the question, Lord, who should be able to stand? Because mm -hmm. it's going to be some trouble coming on this earth. Yes, it is. And a lot of things, you know, folk got scared when they said we're going to be able to eclipse. Yeah. They thought, wondering where the world going to come to end. Mm -hmm. I wonder what's going to happen. What's going to happen? Yeah, that somebody start prophesying. This is what the Bible talking about mm -hmm. about the moon going down in blood. No, let, listen. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and, and, right. Oh, and, what yeah. you want to do is yeah. stick with what the word says. They, they're trying to and, <laughs> and just do what you're supposed to do. Make sure you got the spirit of God and you don't have to worry about it. Mm -hmm. I just think if you do what, what the word says, you, you, you'll come out good. Mm -hmm. But that's, that was part of his additional question on that about, about Revelation. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next one is, it says, greetings again, uh, this brother from Chicago, uh, please advise accordingly, according to the scripture, which of the two scriptures below will take place first? Revelation 20, Satan being bound for a thousand years, Jesus reigning for a thousand years, and then Satan being released after a thousand years. First Thessalonians four seventeen, being caught up in the cloud with the Lord. Thank you. So all that ties in. Right, that ties way. into that. Yeah, man, this take, it, 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 it just gonna take some time to go in there. Okay, the next next one is hello, true worshipers of God. I have a question. When your loved ones pass away, is it okay to go visit them at the cemetery? What does the Bible say about that? Also, I really need spiritual help. I'm backsliding. I have no church to go to. I watch you and Elder Murray all the time, 
but I truly need and want to be able to go worship with other true saints. Please pray for me and my sister. Amen. Well, on the first one, there's no Bible, and I can say you can't go to a cemetery if your mother or your father are there, but that's in memory mm -hmm. of them. But I don't say go there for a visit because you can't visit with them. See, uh, all you go in there where the tombstone is and where they buried them. But you know, the scriptures say the dead know not anything. So mm -hmm. you can't have a conversation or anything like that. But I don't have scriptures that say you can't go where they were buried at time and have some memory of that or even put flowers there at the grave. But when you say visit, that's, that sets another light on mm -hmm. things to me. You say visit them. Like when I went to go, used to go home and visit my mother and my father, I used to go in there and be able to sit down and talk with them. That was a visit, see. But now I'm just going to the place where they were laid, where the cork is now. And I don't even see them because they are out in the ground. Mm -hmm. see? Right. But now I may go there for memory. And, and do when I go home, I do go by the cemetery. My wife is back there. I do go by the cemetery. And I just look there and it's just a, a memory for me. But I know I can't talk to them. I know they don't hear me. And I know they don't even know that I'm there. See? So that's not a visit, a visit with them. I visit with them when they were living. Mm -hmm. And make sure I visit with them and let them know how much I love them and did whatever I could for them when they were living, see? So that was my visiting time. Now the visiting time is over, see? So, but yes, we can go to the cemetery. I have no scripture to say that it's wrong to do that. But now if I go to the cemetery and say I'm talking to the dead, there is something wrong with that because that's another kind of spirit mm -hmm. that you have when you go talking to the dead, see? <laughs> so then, but now I don't go there and do that. But no, I don't have no scripture to say you cannot go to the cemetery and put memory with your mother or your father where they lay and put, if you want to put flowers there, okay, I don't, I don't have no problem with that. I don't have Bible to say you're wrong. See? Now, that, that's another thing. We can start reading into things. Mm -hmm. You know, I say, you know, well, well, that, 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 that is showing, you, you know, you're esteeming your parents and all like that and, and all that. And no, I'm not esteeming them. They're dead. I right. can't <laughs> esteem. Right. You know? So we do a lot of things. See, can say a lot of things sometimes. And I was telling somebody I was talking the other day, I said, we can make it a sin not to almost breathe. Mm -hmm. You can make things so tight now. That's why I tell you some people say, well, well, well we're in holiness, but we're more, uh, you know, we're, we're more stricter than you all. And all the kind of say, how, how strict can you be? You got to go beyond the word to be stricter. Mm -hmm. You know, you yeah. can't be no stricter than the word making. You know, you, you're putting something on people that you cannot even bear when you start putting all that on them. But yes, uh, so I don't, you know, I, I, mean, I don't see anything wrong with that, you know, if you want to go there. But now it says, and, and whatever, which, whatever one they say, but wanting to, want, wanting to worship, you know, and about, what, was it backsliding? Or? He said he, huh. he was having problems about yeah, the word to backslide. He, right, he said that, um, um, let me go back to that point. Well, well, if y'all want to talk on that, that one at first, and then we'll, we'll well, see what I mean. I think he's being honest with his own mm -hmm. feeling, what he's mm -hmm. going through right now mm -hmm. about backsliding. Mm -hmm. And you know, what we strongly believe in, when you get the Holy Ghost, you, you don't worry about backsliding. Mm -hmm. Because I believe this, the power of God is so real mm -hmm. that whatever situation you're in, he'll bring you out. Mm -hmm. Now, I do know you could start out doing good, and it's just like the wheat and the tail. They're here together. Mm -hmm. And they're doing good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then suddenly when trials and tribulation come, mm -hmm. it takes whatever little word in you, mm -hmm. it takes it out of you. Mm -hmm. That's and right. now mm -hmm. you can't stand because of you going through some things that you can't thought you had the spirit, but you don't have the spirit yet. You don't have it. Mm -hmm. you, you're being kept by the knowledge that you had. Mm -hmm. But then when the That's real right. trouble mm -hmm. came, now you're going back, you may go back drinking. Mm -hmm. You go back smoking, you mm -hmm. go back running to these places you've been running to. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. But you were doing good at first. Then you 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 compare that to being saved. Mm -hmm. But now you got to have the power that gonna keep you gonna keep you saved. So you you right. You are going back to what you used to do. What you used to do. That's because right. that Bible teaches you that if any man being quiet, the old thing done passed away. Yeah. Behold, all things become new. Mm -hmm. So I just say to my brother, just look for the new thing now. And when, when they want you to go back and do the old thing, That's right. deny that flush. Mm -hmm. Repent. Mm -hmm. 
mm. and give God your life. Truly, truly mm. repent. And once you mm. repent of it, you That's won't right. keep repenting every day. Right. Now, I'm just straightforward mm. with you. Don't be asking the Lord to forgive you everything that you keep doing wrong every day. You keep doing the same thing every day. Mm. Come on. You got somewhere you got to stop. Mm. That's right. It said repent and be baptized. Mm. Have you been baptized? Look at the call that he's trying to make for you to make. Look at the steps he's trying to get you to step. That's right. Mm. The order he wants That's you right. to go in. And give him your life. Because if you don't give him your life, mm -hmm. you're going to keep what you call backsliding. You keep going back to your old way. And Jesus said, That's Marvel, right. not that I say unto you, you must be born again. Mm -hmm. That's right. And that new birth going to cause you to do what's right. Mm -hmm. So I'm just encouraging you that you can do it if you want to do it now. Because the same strength you use mm -hmm. to do wrong, you can take that strength and start doing right. Yeah. And I don't find no problem anybody want to go and visit the grave site because I don't have no Bible say you can't do yeah, it. Don't, don't and one. some people don't believe in uh, mm. uh, when, when a person mm. died, they don't believe in the cremation, the, uh, cremation. Mm. cremation service. Mm. But I can't fight against don't that. I ain't got no Bible say you can't do it. Mm -hmm. And sometimes people believe this when a person dies, the Bible says you can't come at no dead body. Mm. They go back to the Old Testament. Yeah. Yeah. They don't even want to participate yeah. Yeah. if they That's saw right. a daughter die. Mm. Because the Bible, the Bible said, let the dead bury the dead. See, right. you can take it all out of context. Right, right. That's right. So we're here now to mm -hmm. keep it simple. Mm -hmm. Stay with what you yeah. can read. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And don't add and don't take away. Mm -hmm. yeah. if, it, if, well, if, it, if, if it's wrong, we're going to read what was wrong. That's right. Mm -hmm. If it's right, we're going to read what was right. Mm -hmm. But just stay with the scripture, then you come out right. Yes, sir. You know, <laughs> when you're saying that, how people take things out of context. Now, they say about when you take on cre cremate somebody and stuff. And it said about don't take your sons or daughters through the fire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, how they take scripture. Right. Mm -hmm. right. When we're talking about the dead, they don't look back at the Nazarite vow or anything like that. When the vows to take that do not come before the dead and all. And, you know, we were in that meeting with some in Virginia. They told us, well, the scripture said don't have no funeral because scripture said wherefore come out from among them. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm just giving you how people take different scriptures, mm -hmm. you know, right, and right. do this. But let me, let me show you this now. In the word, if you want to be preserved blameless until his coming, Thessalonians 5, and we, and we just start about 14. Mm -hmm. He's he going to tell you how you can be preserved blameless until his coming. And so that's why we're telling people, get what it takes. And when you get what it takes, it's going to do the job for you to get you and to keep you there if you, when you meet the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now we exhort you, brethren, mm -hmm. warn them that are unruly, mm -hmm. comfort the feeble mind, mm -hmm. support the weak, mm -hmm. be patient toward all men. Be what? Be patient mm -hmm. toward all men. Mm -hmm. See that none render evil for evil. Do what? See that none render evil for evil. This is this a journey unto any man. This is this is a journey, folks. Amen. See. And, and, if you, if you, and if you find this going on, you got to examine yourself and see if you really have the spirit. Right. Because the spirit won't do this. <laughs> Not that spirit you have, the Holy Spirit. Right. Read. But ever follow that which is good. Do what? Ever follow that which is good. All right, read. Both among yourselves mm -hmm. and to all men. Mm -hmm. Rejoice evermore. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks. In what? In everything, give thanks. In, it, in what? In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God mm -hmm. in Christ Jesus concerning you. Read on. Squinch not the spirit. Read. Despise not prophesy. Read. Prove all things. Read. Hold fast that which is good. You hear that now? Mm -hmm. Now listen what this next verse says. Abstain from all appearance of evil. Abstain from all forms of evil. Yep. Huh? Mm -hmm. is, that, is that what it say? I'm staying huh? from all appearance all of evil. All appearance of evil. Get away from all appearance of evil. Now listen what happened when you do this. And the very God of peace mm -hmm. sanctify you wholly. Now that holy is entirely, completely. See, that's W-H-O-L-L. Why? -L -L. Wow, yes. Holy. See? That complete. Huh? See, entirely, you'll be sanctified. Listen what it said. And I pray God your whole spirit. Huh? Your whole spirit. And soul. And soul. And body. All three parts of you. Be preserved blameless. What does being preserved mean? Being kept. Kept. Right. Huh? Blameless. 
unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, read on. Faithful is he that calleth you uh -huh. who also will do it. Mm -hmm. Brethren, pray for us. Mm -hmm. Greet all the brethren with an holy kiss. Mm -hmm. I charge you by the Lord mm -hmm. that this epistle be read unto all the holy brethren. Mm -hmm. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. Your whole body, soul, and spirit be preserved blameless unto the coming. Amen. Hmm? Right. So like we're saying, get the spirit. Get the spirit. Get the spirit. Mm -hmm. you know, then he preserve you and start getting away from all appearance of evil. All of it, get away from all of it and see if he don't sanctify you wholly, completely, entirely. And you'd be ready, you'd be ready to get with him when he comes. <laughs> you know, without a doubt, you get with him. I, you know, I was, thinking, I was thinking about the, the, the scripture Ella was talking about. Mm -hmm. This is Matthew chapter 13. He said, sometimes you start out good mm -hmm. and then something come along the feet. Mm -hmm. See, mm -hmm. Matthew chapter 20, uh, 13 and verse 22. It says, he also that receives seed among the thorns is he that hear the word and the care of this world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word and he becometh unfruitful. Mm -hmm. See, and I, I think that that's what's going on. It seems like with a lot of mm -hmm. people now with the deceitfulness of riches and the care of this world. And, and I think. If you're not careful, that'll, you know, that, that'll get you. But now, do you, do you know there's a scripture say, you can come in and you can have that house swept and garnished. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, you can mm -hmm. clean that house up. Mm -hmm. But what happens if the spirit don't come in? Then that spirit goes go out back. sick and mm -hmm. place and find none. And what it does it do? Go it comes right back in. Right. Mm -hmm. And when it comes back in, how many more devils it bring? Seven. Huh? Right. And so what happens to that man? Yes, that man a lot of times people don't receive the spirit they That's just true. come and get cleaned up mm -hmm. you know they don't clean up don't repent it and stuff like that and don't get the spirit and just be a matter of time mm -hmm. yeah, before it comes back in so that's why we tend to get in that spirit to be sealed and stuff like that See, but make sure you got it because it don't behave itself unseemly mm -hmm. right. See, it don't act up like that See, so we got to make sure we have it that's why it's so hard and so good to examine yourself and see whether you be in the faith or not. See whether you have it or not. Making sure. If you don't have it, make sure you get it. And if you already got it, ask them to pour it on you a second time. Mm -hmm. And them that don't have it, ask them to give you a double portion of it when you get it. Amen. Mm -hmm. Give me a double portion of it. Because we, we, you can fool yourself now. You can, you can fool yourself. Because yeah. so, sometimes, you, you, you know, you, you, can, you can be... It, what Ecclesiastes has to say, you know, come to the house of God, be, keep your feet still and be more ready to what? To hear. Hear, because if you don't hear, you, you go out and don't consider that you're doing evil. Evil. Mm -hmm. You don't even consider it. You know. But, we, but we'll, we'll get to that part when we, that, we have a question, another question that someone sent to us for, you know, asking about receiving the Holy Ghost and mm -hmm. why should it be a problem with people receiving the Holy Ghost. We can't give them a specific answer on that, but we can just say from the things that seem to be right. It could be a hindrance to folks receiving it. Okay. Uh, but, uh, but, but now the other part of that question now, we're not telling them to go to no church, just no, to fellowship. No, no, sir. And to worship. You know, they say you would like to have a church, go to church with, you know, true saints and stuff like that. Well, now, sometimes it might take a little traveling mm -hmm. for you to do that. Because mm -hmm. it might not be in your area, but you be your, your area. But then you pray and ask the Lord, and the Lord can work things out. That mm -hmm. some can get in that area. But I will never tell anybody to go to any church, false and false teaching. I will not send them there. And I, and I, would, I would tell you, you don't want to go in there because you don't want your spirit to get all messed up. Yeah. You don't want your spirit to get all messed up with that. So if they don't, they're not saying Jesus Christ, the Son of God, don't believe that. I'm not sending you there. They got women preachers all that. I'm not sending you there. They can believe in homosexuality. I'm not sending you there. Huh. I'm not getting get, 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 get telling you to go to those kind of places. Now, what you do is you keep listening to the minister. I think you say hear, hear us and, and Ella Murray and all. Right. And what I, have to, what I have to tell them, keep on listening to that gospel and let God continue to work it out for you. He you know your heart and you get your heart mm -hmm. right. See? 
I don't, I don't tell someone, go to somebody's church. That's the problem. We're going to somebody's, somebody's church. church. And then he got, he, Jesus didn't say, I build somebody's church. He said, upon this rock, I build what? My church. My church. church. So I'm not sending you in any kind of place like that. You know, just to say I'm fellowshipping. You know, I've got some place to go. But we're going to be praying for the brother. Thank God, oh, sister. Him and, him and, what did he say? Him and his sister. Mm -hmm. We're going to be praying for him. That God will open up a way and God will set something there. So, it can, so he can have, have some place to go and worship but God can, the Lord can do it. Right. Certainly he can do it. So we'll be praying for that. But we can't send him nowhere. Okay. Some place that not teaching truth. Well, we will we, we'll say this though, but it does boil down to how bad do you want it? You know, like, you can do some things you mm -hmm. thought you couldn't do. Right. If mm -hmm. that's, that's how right. bad you want to do it. That's right. Mm -hmm. These people come all across different states just to watch a football game. Uh, oh, yes, they do. Don't even worry about the cost of it. Mm -hmm. they just, no. mm -mm. That's how bad they want to do it. That's right. They want to do and it. You know, if you know of a special mm -hmm. service going on here or wherever you believe in these preachers at, that's look, right. I can save to make that happen. Oh, yeah. Because that's how bad I want to be there. I want to be there. Some just said, it's up to you now. How mm -hmm. bad do you really want it? That's right. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to put that judgment on you. How bad do you want it? What it means? Because, see, the money, anyway, it, the money belongs to God. That's right. So if you say it's too much, well, you're telling God that it take too much for you to do this. That's right. But he's still going to supply your need. How bad do you want it? How bad do you? How bad do you want it? How That's bad right. do you want it? Because you'll pay the cost. That's, That's right. right. Just to be, I don't care if you need to go there but once a year. That's right. But you know you want to be there just that bad. That's that bad. And when you want it that bad, you'll show up and mm -hmm. don't even worry about how much it costs. That's right. It'd be just like a man that don't have the Holy Ghost. Ain't no excuse. Ain't no excuse walking up down flat show to my, ain't no church to go to. That's right. You mm -hmm. think you're going to go into judgment with that? They're going to no, stand? <laughs> how bad do you want it? That's right. You mm -hmm. didn't come in, you didn't stop up on the hill? That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Well, 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 we know that's true. We we just had a brother come here like a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, paralyzed right. from the way down, way down, all the way from Knoxville, Tennessee, mm -hmm. on the bus. On the bus. Mm -hmm. On the bus. Almost got delayed by mm -hmm. six hours or so mm -hmm. on the bus mm -hmm. to get here to get baptized. Yes, he did. Cause he wanted to be bad. He wanted that bad. Mm -hmm. that's yeah, right. that's right. And, uh, mm -hmm. but, you're right. You're depending mm -hmm. on how bad you want. But uh, along with that, we work and say, well, I can't get off on my job. I'm not off on Sunday. But when we come around to taking vacation time, mm -hmm. oh yeah, oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, we we'll take it to go on a pleasure place mm -hmm. or things like that. But if you're seeking the Lord and want truth so bad, you can take that and come and stay a week or so mm -hmm. in this place right now and be in the services. Like you say, when we have the special services, mm -hmm. weekend services and stuff like that, and one time we used to have them all week. Right. You take that vacation time and come and stay the whole week, yeah. be in service. You say that well, if they watch people like Ellen Murray and, and Ella Crawford and, and some of them like that, well, you can take time to go around, take make time to happen. go to and be in them places. Make it happen. And make it happen, you know. Yeah. 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 All right. The next question is greetings, Bishop Bryant and Elder Cook and Render. My question is. My question, is there anything wrong with men wearing shorts or short pants outside of the home? As he was, as he was fight laughing about that. I think one time the bishop was on, was on uh, radio <laughs> and thinking right. he called and asked the bishop about wearing short right. pants. Right. He said, because it was so hot outside, he said, it's 90 something degrees out there. He told the bishop, he said, it's 90 something degrees out there, bishop. And the bishop turned and said, yeah, yeah, but I tell you what, when it's 90 something on you, it's 90 something on everybody else, too. <laughs> <laughs> so he would tell him about, about not wearing. Now, did he say, what is, is the scripture? Uh, no, he just said, um, is there anything wrong with men wearing shorts or short pants outside of the home? Well, I, 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 don't, I, don't wear, I don't wear them, you know, and uh, the only thing I can say, you can take it, you know, uh, uh, whatever way you want it, whatever way you think the script, scripture was saying that, but I think that the scripture would say something about the shame of your nakedness, uh, do it not appear, uh, somewhere in Revelation there, like that scripture had, had says something concerning that. No. On that, you know, and it goes down. It, it went on down and say, "But anoint your eyes with eye salve." In that same verse, right? 
Anoint your eyes with eyesight that thou may see. Might see. I think it says something in there about, you know. Oh yeah, uh, 18. 3 and about 18. Something like I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich, and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. And anoint thine eyes with eye salve, that thou mayest see. Well, that's the only thing I, I, I do, but I don't see nothing in that say. Well, I can tell a person not to wear short pants, you right. know, but. Right. To me, when I get the Holy Ghost, and I think we've said this before, the Holy Ghost will make you uncomfortable with some things. Mm -hmm. Even if the scripture don't say it wrong, it'll make you uncomfortable with showing certain parts of your body and, and, and doing certain things like that. So once you get the Holy Ghost, that will start governing you and guiding you. That's why one time you say you need no man to teach you, you know, because that Holy Ghost, that anointing you have, teaches you all things. So when you start getting that, but as far as me having a scripture or, or, or say that, it, that, that it is, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. But for me, I don't do it, wouldn't put them on, wouldn't have them right there, wouldn't be walking around showing my legs or anything like that as a man, I wouldn't do it. Now I know younger kids put them on sometime, have, have them on and stuff, and, and stuff like that, so, but that's okay. But uh, you say by the man, having them on. I don't do it, and I, and I wouldn't do it. I, I wouldn't have them on. I wouldn't be showing my legs and, and stuff like that. I, we say we want to be example to the flock. We tell women about short dresses and all that kind of stuff like that. I don't wear a dress, but I can wear pants long enough <laughs> to show them how it should be. You know, so I'm going to be an example to the flock. Not laws over God's heritage, but an example to the flock. So we have, we and do it won't be it's lawful for me to do a lot of things, the Bible says. Paul said all things. But he said it's not what? It's expedient. In other words, what does do it does not edify that I might do it. And I'm gonna do all things that I might edify the church, edify the members. See, let all things be done for what? For edification. See. So if it don't edify, I don't do it. But all things may be lawful. You see, but I'm not gonna be caught under him. <laughs> The power of any, see, for those things to be done. So, you know, that's, and that's what I, I, I say on that, you know. But I, I don't have a scripture. If anybody else got scripture, man, maybe, but, but I'm just saying what I don't have for. And when I, when I don't have a scripture for it, let me say this. I'm not quick to jump out there and say, yeah, it's wrong. That's right. See, what, what I'm not comfortable with doing not having no, it do not make it a sin. No, I don't. What this says make it a sin. Right. See, what the scriptures say make it a sin. Some people, and what the rule in your church. See, you can set that a rule in your church and say, well, we don't, want, we don't wear short pants in here, in here. That's a rule in your church. Mm -hmm. And be careful with rules in your church. Because a rule in your church will start making your members see when they see somebody else different from them that they're sinning. Right. See? Because you have set that rule. They're not sinning. That's your rule that you have in your church that you have established in that church. Okay. See? And now you got people looking at other people out there in other churches saying they're wrong and they're sinning. They're on their way to hell. Mm -hmm. See? But be careful because you'll be the one on your way to hell because you're going by a rule and try to make everybody live according to your rule in your church. Right. See? So there can be rules now that are set in that church. So preachers ought to make that plain to them. This is a rule. I don't have scripture for it. See, and I, and I want to say this because let me tell you, do you, you know, when I was going to Virginia, I had people in there asking me, is it a sin to chew chewing gum? Mm -hmm. They were taught that it was a sin to chew chewing gum. They couldn't chew chewing gum. But a famous preacher that said there was no son of God in heaven. They come out of that church and they said, a sin to chew chewing gum. I said, chewing gum? But see, all this is things that how strict people were at that yeah. time. Rules. People taught one time you had to wear cotton stockings. Mm -hmm. They did. Cotton stockings. See? You, you can't wear no pantyhose and, and the thin that dip like your flesh? No, uh-uh. It had to be cotton stockings. You see what people do and how strict people make things? 
And then they say, well, we got a high standard here over here. But yeah, you got a high standard because you're trying to get people to live above what the word says. What you feel is above what the word says. See? So, but so that's, you know, that's, that, you know, that's what, you know, I, I, I see on that. You know, I, I don't have a switch for that. Well, I don't have no Bible that says you can't do it, but I do know mm -hmm. that the Holy Ghost is going to lead you and guide you. Make you uncomfortable. I mean, mm -hmm. I've been married uh, 44 years, and mm -hmm. I never told my wife what she could put on what she couldn't put on. Because mm -hmm. I believe the Word is going to lead you and guide you what you're supposed to do. What you're yeah. supposed to do. And, and sometimes people be looking for us, looking to us for all the answers. When mm -hmm. are you going to let the Spirit lead you yeah, be the answer and guide you. you what you're supposed to do? That's right. Amen. I'm telling you, you got to you got to let the spirit lead you on lead this thing, you. rather than trying to put me in a position to make these decisions for you. Mm -hmm. And God didn't put me in this position mm -hmm. to make these all these decisions for you. We supposed to have the mind of Christ. Mm -hmm. If something ain't right, the spirit gonna lead you to to do what's right. right. I had my own style mm -hmm. that I used to yeah. love mm -hmm. to dress. I mm -hmm. had it, right. and mm -hmm. I know it was the way of the world. I mm -hmm. knew this. But when I got in the church, I didn't wait on no preacher to tell me to take mm -hmm. this off. Mm -hmm. You can't have that on, put mm -hmm. this on. Even my granddad, a good example. Mm -hmm. He didn't, I never mm -hmm. saw him in a short sleeve shirt. Mm -hmm. Where he get that from? I know he didn't get it from my daddy. My mm -hmm. daddy mm -hmm. would wear short sleeve. Mm -hmm. But then my granddad, he, he always had long sleeve. Mm -hmm. So whoever taught him that, mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. believed in that, mm -hmm. but I never believed in that. So mm -hmm. I, I'm like, now you see me, I wear a short sleeve shirt on. Well, the next man may not never want to wear one, but you can't go deal me because I got one on. That's right. You can't do it. You ain't gonna have no Bible to prove it. You can't do it. You cannot do it now. Yeah. So you gotta look at when are you gonna let the Spirit mm -hmm. lead you? When lead Jesus you. was talking, mm -hmm. He told us not to worry about the clothes. He know it gonna come a change. Mm -hmm. He, he know that. Don't don't be worried about the clothes, mm -hmm. because that's gonna happen. That it's gonna be some changes made for you. Oh yeah. But seek ye first mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. kingdom of God mm -hmm. and His righteousness. Mm -hmm. Then all this stuff gonna start mm -hmm. start changing. Mm -hmm. Can I wear flip flop? Can I wear something? Look, mm -hmm. don't ask me. Mm -hmm. This hell of talking now. Mm -hmm. When are you gonna let the spirit lead you? What to put on your feet? Mm -hmm. Because you know if you get mad at me, you're going to leave. You're going to go put it right back on. So let the Spirit lead you. That would be my take on it. Yeah. Well, you know, that question came up way back. Yeah. Can you wear sandals? Hmm? Remember that? That question come up way back. Can you wear sandals? You know. And we, we had to tell them then, say, I can't say the sin to wear sandals. No. Because they wore them in biblical days. They wore them. Jesus had them on. Yeah. <laughs> And then they told Peter, said, what, bind on thy sandals. Yeah. Bind on your sandals. <laughs> Come on, follow me. So they ask stuff like that, you know, and, and, and which we don't have scripture, to, you know, to, to say that. So the, the, the best thing to do is get the Spirit of God. It'll make yeah. it uncomfortable. Right. If you put on something and you're getting ready to go out, that Holy Ghost will say, take a look at yourself. Take a look at Yeah. And make you uncomfortable. And then you go in and take them off. Because I, I believe that. We, you know you got a man to teach, but that thing says you got an anointing. Yeah. That mm -hmm. teaches that's you all teaching. things. Okay. See? Yeah. And that's what the Holy Ghost does. Mm -hmm. And then and that and that's that's the, you know, that's a good place for it. But you know, we don't we don't have no scripture for that. Well you, 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 you know, and and, mm -hmm. and really to tell you the truth, if if the old years ago you hear about all these rules mm -hmm. and what should have been happening back then, the preacher should have been doing what we're doing now. Referring these folk back to the spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. and putting them Go back to what the word say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you got scripture for it, then that's one thing. Mm -hmm. If you don't, well, there's no law. You got no transgression. No transgression. Well, but what, what instead of them doing that, they created rules. Mm -hmm. Rules. Mm -hmm. And when you create all these rules, you got a problem. Mm -hmm. Y'all know this. Years ago, <laughs> the way they would look at you in the church, you, that y'all couldn't wear that to church. Oh. Not a, without a coat on No, here. you had to wear something no all the way down here. <laughs> the digging they ain't got on no coat. Right. <laughs> because that was, that, was, that was what they were doing yeah. back in that time. <laughs> yes, sir. And it, and it was <laughs> simply because the leader said that he would do things a certain way. And what, mm -hmm. what you're saying tonight is true. Yeah. Just because you're uncomfortable with something yeah. don't mean it's a sin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just how you... 
That's may condemn it. carry a thing. Yeah. But if, mm. if this, yeah. now if it's against God's word now, that's a whole yeah. different ball. Yeah. But that's why you're saying now you got you got to let the spirit lead. Cause yeah. something you just something you yeah. ain't gonna. Let me tell you, I ain't. I don't care how many designers come up with britches. I don't want no pants mm -hmm. so tight on me I can't have move. Mm -hmm. I'm a man. Right. I need some room. Mm -hmm. See, and sometimes mm -hmm. you the spirit. Now, now listen. I mm -hmm. when I when I put my clothes on, mm -hmm. I, I know full well the Lord talking to me now. Mm -hmm. You, it's supposed to be something in you. Mm -hmm. It's an unction in you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, and some things, as you're saying, mm -hmm. in the truth, ain't no man supposed to have to teach you everything. No, I don't have to teach you everything. Mm -hmm. Some stuff you told, you told, and I'm not saying this individual, mm -hmm. it, it, that I'm just saying, <laughs> re referring to this, you got to let the spirit lead you with something. Mm -hmm. That's right. Because mm -hmm. if you don't, it, you ain't going you ain't gonna never know how to live right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, yeah, because you're not gonna be around us all the time. No, mm -hmm. and you're not gonna be able to call and get us all the time. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can call all three of us and don't get either one of us. So what you gonna do then? See, so but you need, you got to have something in there. You know, I told y'all about one time I was out in California. My yeah. wife wasn't with me. Right. I was in California one time, and we got we getting ready to go to to get some food. Mm -hmm. And one of my coworkers, mm -hmm. we going by a place, and it was a it actually come found out it was a steakhouse, but the name on it was called a strip club, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it had look the little uh, the little silhouette thing mm -hmm. that they have at the strip club. Mm -hmm. So, hey, listen, I kept walking. Mm -hmm. My coworker stopped and said, Cook, I'm going in here and see what's in here. I said, well, I'm going to leave you to that. Mm -hmm. I'll be down here. Mm -hmm. I kept walking. I'm almost a I'm almost quarter mile down the, the road down there. I hear somebody hop, hey, bro, Cook. And I kept looking. I know somebody called. I looked back. It's him. He said, hey, come in. I said, no, nah, I ain't. Uh -uh, not me. <laughs> he said, it's a steakhouse. I said, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> But I'm saying it to say yeah. something ain't nobody got to tell me. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's something in me, no. Mm -hmm. I ain't got no business in these places. No, mm -hmm. something in you. Not at all. <laughs> and by the time I got back to him, the lady literally had to come out the restaurant and come and tell me to, her fa to my face, no, sir, this ain't that kind of place. This ain't no actual strip club. This <laughs> is a steakhouse. And they call it the strip club because we specialize in New York strip steaks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said, ma'am, let me tell you something. Let me say to you right now. If I step in this door and anybody in here have naked, I'm out. <laughs> I'm not staying in here. That's the only way I went in that place. Yeah. Because, we, listen, as you say, you got to abstain from the appearance of evil. Mm -hmm. Something don't even look yeah. right. So right. I'm just saying, yeah. Yeah. So the spirit supposed to be in you to help you with. But it wouldn't look right for you to call back here, ask us, can you? Yeah, I'm gonna call you and Bishop say, y'all mind if I go in this play called strip club? <laughs> yeah, <'cause>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you got to You know, you know what it happened at sometimes. Say you had somebody else down this way, so you know you, and they might have been thinking the same thing you thought. And you come walking out of there, they'll come back down there and say, I saw him coming out of strip club. Yeah, right. <laughs> they'll take a right. picture of it up there. Exactly it's, right. it's, it's sitting to me and Ellen and all that. I saw him yeah. coming, out of, coming out of strip club. You know. But the Lord knows that. He knows. Know. People he try knows. to take that and say, let, don't let your good be evil spoken of. Right, but, right. But, 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 but listen to this here. You know, sometimes we go in places to eat. Do they play gospel songs in there? No. 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 Mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. Only but gold is mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. But we still go in there and eat. Mm -hmm. huh? But what, what, what we do? We tune that out. Mm -hmm. right? And eat, you know. We, 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 you know mm -hmm. We're focusing on the eating and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. got a in there. I, I want to say this to you. you know, Sometimes we, 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 when we start making rules and setting up all kind of rules and stuff like that, uh, you, you, you can make it so hard on everybody. Now, I'm, I'm going to tell you, when I was coming up, and I appreciate the holiness my daddy and them taught, but when I was coming up, when we were young, do you know they didn't even believe in us going to the fair? Amen. Amen. You couldn't play ball. Amen. <laughs> but, 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 now, but do you see what you're doing with your children? Right, right. right. See? Wow. Right. see? 
And I said one time what a lot some others have said too when they were growing up in strict homes like that, unholiness. That when I leave home. Yes, sir. I ain't going to the fair. No. I'm going fair in all of them. The, the zoo, the circus. <laughs> oh. Yes, sir. <laughs> couldn't, own, yeah. couldn't own TV. Couldn't have a TV. That was the world. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, yes, now, now we're, we're left with that. But you see what you can do to folks. Mm -hmm. But then, you, then the scripture come back and say, well, when I was a child, I, I spent as a child. Right. Hmm? Right. I thought yeah. mm -hmm. as a child. A child. Huh? Mm -hmm. Now when I become a man, what I did, Put away that's God. the time. But you try to make a man or a woman out of them when they're child. Mm -hmm. Don't even allow them to think as a child. Mm -hmm. See? Mm. Huh? Don't let them allow them to reason as a child. Wow. But you see what we do? That's right. You're right. See? And, and I'm telling you, a lot of time when you do that, when they get old enough, oh, they ain't good. Wow. Yep. They don't never come back. There's a, there's, a, there's a thing they call wow, but they call it something mm -hmm. else too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my wife called it something like that. I said, no, it's not exactly like that. Mm -hmm. but, it, but it's wow. <laughs> you know. But, but I'm, I'm telling you, see. And that's why a thing we have to do, and we, 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 we got to know how to be wise. That's why he said, he that one of souls is wise in what we're doing. We can put so much on a person until we just kill them out and destroy them. But the, the, whole, the all is worth, you know, the all is worth to you. Amen. I don't know what. Uh, well, we got a couple more, but. Um, I'll just read this one. It says, where do saints go when they die? Um, that was... I don't know if y'all want to... Hmm. Well, like, I quote that earlier. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. 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 well, that's right. That's right. what that's all Paul said. To be mm -hmm. out in front of the body, to be present the with the Lord. Mm -hmm. Right. And that spirit go back to the God that, that gave it. Mm -hmm. That don't mean nobody's in heaven. We ain't putting no. nobody in heaven. <laughs> See? But that's what that's also what the scriptures say. And that's all I can give to them, you know. That to be absent from the body, to be present with the Lord, whenever we die, the spirit go back to the God that gave it. Yeah. No man is that went into heaven yet, but he that came down from heaven, the Son of Man, which is what? In, in heaven. heaven. In heaven. Right. And that's it. But as far as you being in heaven and my mom and my dad is in heaven, no way. Mm -hmm. It's the spirit go back man. God give it, give, give that back man. And now some people say, well, you know he says something about uh, he's going to come and he's going to bring 10,000 of the saints with him. And all the dead that went up there then, uh, there you go, want to read stuff into it, see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. But, but that's, that's what I say to her, you know. Yeah, that's the only thing I can say. I say to that. The spirit go back to the God that given. You know, to be present, absent from the body, to be present with the Lord. Okay. Let me see here. We have one left. Uh, says, praise the Lord and greetings mm -hmm. in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. First, I mm -hmm. want to thank I want to thank our God for allowing true leaders to feed the people, feed his people. I have listened to all of your messages and Bible studies since the beginning of this year. I believe I have, I have thoroughly enjoyed the messages and know for a fact that God is with you all. My questions are, could you please send me or give me the date that you preached about that we won't know our loved ones after death. Also, what does the scripture, 1 Corinthians 13 and 12, means? Keep preaching the gospel of Christ. One day I am going to pop up in your service. I sent a donation for the homeless yeah. mm -hmm. and I will continue to do so. Mm -hmm. Much love much love. Okay? And mm -hmm. God God gets all the glory and honor. 
Uh, that is one of the reasons why I love your ministry. I don't hear no signs of pride, boasting, or arrogancy. All I hear is all the glory going to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Be blessed and peace be. Well, I guess, you know, we can probably come up with that. When we, it was talked about about not knowing the loved ones when you get that. Because we know Isaiah talked about the farmer things passing. We won't, won't come into memory no more. But uh, in that 13th, get that, I know, and right quick, and then we're going. See, I, I'm thinking this, Elvis, you all. What they're taking that for is that, like, they're thinking we're going to be known in heaven that way. And you've got to listen to what he said now when he when Paul was saying that. You know. And see, here go reading into it again. See, <laughs> when you start taking the scripture and reading into it, see. Now, he knew in part. Right. But then we're talking about when that which is perfect is come. Huh? Harsh. When that get here now, I'm going to know it all and see it plainly. See, and just like I'm known now, I'm going to know the other, everything, like I should. Just like I'm known now. He didn't say when I'm in heaven and being known mm -hmm. to read it. Right. Yeah. Amen. In 1 Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 12. Uh -huh. For now we see through a glass. See that? Darkly. Mm -hmm. For then, face mm -hmm. to then. face. Mm -hmm. Face to face. Then face to face. Now I know in part. Now I know in part. But then, but then shall I know even as I, even as also I am known. Even as also I am known. And now about it faith. Now, and they're the taking church. that and say you're going to be known in heaven <laughs> when you get there in that heaven. Right. See? And that's not contradicting what Isaiah said. They're going to pass away and it won't come into memory no more. The former things not going to even come into memory right. anymore when we, when we get in there. But we'll get that up and, and, and send it to him. You know, mm -hmm. and send it to him. You know, because if we're gonna know loved ones and all the folks, and we get in there, it, 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 it's it's gonna be some folks best for me not to know, <laughs> and best for you not to know either. So <laughs> that's why it's good for all that to be done passed away <laughs> and don't true. even come to memory no more. That's true. You know, and stuff like that. Now, and I know it sounds good because we like to say, and I and, and I too. I would like to be sitting on my mother and see my mother, you know, and, and be able to say how much I love you, how much I miss you, you know, but that's not going to come into play. It's not, it's not going to be. No. We're going to be changed. Mm -hmm. See? Model going to be what? Follow it up. Yeah. Immortality going to come in. Mm -hmm. Corruption? We'll put on incorruption. Incorruption. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yes, sir. Now I brought the same death as what's followed up, up in, in victory. In victory. Right. So, uh, old death. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just saying, see, mm -hmm. so when all that is going on, it's, it's gone. Mm -hmm. It's gone. Mm -hmm. that, that memory and all about all that kind of stuff, it is gone, mm -hmm. folks. So, but we, we, but we, we can get that and, and, and send it in to them, you know. But I know, then again, you know, because we can, we can talk some more on that because when someone wants to gonna get into the kingdom of heaven, he didn't let them get in, but he told them, say, you're going to see them sitting at the feet of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of God. Right. And some of say, see, they, we, we know them. It didn't say you're going to know them prophets. You're going to know who that is. You're sitting around. You know, but, but we, we can get into that too. But, you know, but, well, we can come up with, with the brethren back there. We can kind of come up with that tape and whatever on that. All right, this is Ella Render. I can be reached at 404-285-7562. Ella Cook is 678-349. 8806 6784988068846 brother Bryant 404 Brother Bryant 404-427-8845. Again, we certainly appreciate all and man, thank God that sent the questions in and we hope and pray that we were able to enlighten in some way and man concerning those questions that you sent in to us and we do appreciate you tuning in on Wednesday nights and not only on Wednesday night but Sundays. We want you to know that you Welcome to be in service with us on Sunday mornings at 9.30 and 11.30 and on Wednesday nights at 7.30 and the doors open at 7 o'clock for prayer. All right, and we do thank you. And I want you to know that we will be in Gainesville and God, uh, this Saturday at 3 o'clock. We're going a little early because we have a service here at 7 o'clock. So we will be there at 3 o'clock in Gainesville. So you that 
and surrounding cities or towns or Beaufort, Georgia, wherever, would like to come and be in service with it, you can. We'll be at the Civic Center there at, uh, at 3 o'clock there in Gainesville on this Saturday. So if you'd like to come out and be in service, we'd be certainly be glad to have you. Again, thank God do thank you, and we certainly appreciate you that support this ministry and help us with the homeless and looking after the homeless and the needy, and also with this gospel continuing to go out and stretching this gospel out further. We do thank you, and we certainly appreciate you. Until we come your way again on next Wednesday night, if the Lord so will, we say unto you, love, peace, and blessings. Okay. All right, everybody all right?